Hello, everyone. It's great to be back home in Vancouver to talk about advancing gender equality in Canada and around the world. I want to thank Women Deliver's incredible team for putting this event together and for all the important work that they do every single day to make our world more equal. For the past 10 years, Women Deliver has been raising awareness and finding lasting solutions to the issues that overwhelmingly affect women and girls. Grâce aux investissements de Women Deliver dans les services de santé sexuelle et reproductive, plus de femmes peuvent maintenant planifier leur avenir. Grâce au soutien de votre organisation à l'égard de l'éducation des femmes, des jeunes filles à travers le monde ont maintenant les compétences et les outils dont elles ont besoin pour réussir. Et grâce à vos efforts visant à éliminer la violence fondée sur le sexe, des vies ont été sauvées et les voix des survivantes se font maintenant entendre. Qu'il s'agisse d'accroître la représentation des femmes sur la scène politique ou d'encourager leur participation à l'économie, Women Deliver cherche à réduire des écarts qui sont encore présents dans nos sociétés, des écarts qui empêchent la réussite de familles, de communautés et de pays tout entiers. Ici au Canada, Nous savons que nous ne pouvons pas réaliser notre plein potentiel sans la pleine participation de tous nos citoyens. Et même si nous avons accompli des progrès importants en vue de faire du Canada un pays plus équitable, il y a encore beaucoup de travail à faire ici chez nous et à l'étranger. That's why I can't think of a better host for the next edition of the Women Deliver Conference than Canada. In June 2019, Vancouver will welcome the world's largest conference on gender equality and the health, rights, and well-being of girls and women. Like Canadians, Women Deliver believes that there is strength in our differences. We believe that the diversity of opinions, of backgrounds, and of beliefs ultimately leads to better inc outcomes. And incomes, too, actually, when you get that. <laughs> The event brings together organizations and individuals from all walks of life who want to make a positive difference in their communities who believe in women as agents of change. Risk takers and problem solvers who are bridging gaps, breaking down barriers, and delivering real results for women everywhere. And while 2019 might seem far away, we can't forget the important work that must be done every day to ensure that women and girls are living the life they want for themselves. So I want to invite the people of Vancouver, and indeed all Canadians, to shine a light on gender equality in the lead up to this conference. Whether it be at school, at work, or at the dinner table, I invite you to take action and address the inequalities that linger and the injustices that endure. At home, Sophie and I are proud not only to be raising our daughter to be a feminist, but also our sons. We teach them. We teach them that gender equality is everyone's business, that it's on all of us to make equality our reality. To raise our kids as feminists is to honor their future because they have the power to shape it for the better. So I invite you to ask yourselves, what does a gender equal Canada look like? What steps can we take, no matter how small, to bring that picture to life? These are important conversations we need not only to be having, but also to be acting on and living. For corporations, this could mean making a commitment to examine how empowering women enhances their global value. For teachers, this could mean teaching students about the women who were left out of the pages of our history textbooks and let their stories inspire new projects. You get to decide. My friends, my fellow feminists, we find ourselves at an interesting point in time. By all standards, the world is a better place for women and girls than it once was. But while our victories should fuel hope and optimism for the future, they should in no way distract from the battles we are still fighting 
and the progress we must still be making. We cannot afford to become complacent. We cannot allow inaction to stomp our momentum or let our ambition be bounded by our borders. <clears throat> Alors, joignez-vous à nous ici à Vancouver pour la conférence Women Deliver de 2019. Prenez part à la conversation et faites partie de la solution. Encore une fois, je tiens à remercier Women Deliver de nous accueillir ici aujourd'hui et merci à vous tous d'être ici avec nous. Thank you, everyone, for all the work you have done, all the work you are doing, and mostly all the work we are going to do together to make gender equality a reality. Merci, mes amis. Thank you.